Hello, guys. I'm Emmanuel Lewis, Coach E. Lou. Um, I'm the head coach right now for the Minx Zoobs um, in uh, Minx, Belarus. Uh, this is my first um, head coaching job um, today. Um, well, let me share a little bit of my experience, okay? Um, I went to graduate from Tulare Union High School in 2006, where I was all-state quarterback uh, in Gatorade, um, All-American. I was a first-team all-state. Um, went to college to Ball State University. I then transferred, spent some time in Fresno City during college, um, where I was started there. And then I transferred to New Mexico Highlands University in Las Vegas, New Mexico, where I was a two-year D2 All-American. And then um, from there, I went to Frankfurt Universe um, and then to Marburg uh, Mercenaries this past season. Um, I since have went on to be a head coach here at Minx. And um, I just kind of want to give my knowledge back to you guys and anyone that I can help out, okay? So today's seminar or webinar I wanted to talk to you guys about was the, um, the ball, the hand to ball placement and also the shelf of the ball, okay? Um, most young quarterbacks tend to palm the ball and not surely have their fingers in the, the correct uh, position due to the fact that they may have small hands or um, just, just don't know. Um, so today I want to share with you guys um, a few techniques that I learned over the, um, my course of quarterbacking. Um, first of all, the most traditional way uh, to hold or to, to hold a, a football is we call our ring finger and we want to put that through our first lace of the ball. So if everyone can see, we want to put that here. OK, um, big handed people usually have no problem with this. Small handed people sometimes can have a, a, a slight problem, but um, it's OK. You know, you guys got to do a few things to kind of adjust to that. Um, but ring finger on the first lace, okay? Then we're going to place our second finger around the white to the top, to the bottom. I like to, to have a little spread or, like, just casually drop it down on the ball, okay? Our, our most important finger is our index finger, okay? Our index finger we want to place right here to the nose of the ball. Some people like it here. Some people like it here. Some people like it here. Like I said, I'm more or less like a, a nice fitting place, uh, easy placement of the ball. So my finger usually goes here. Um, sometimes I do bring it back here depending on the size of the ball and depending on the feel of the ball. Um, NFL balls differ um, from um, high school balls and so forth, okay? So second or lastly, I wanna just place my thumb in a comfortable position, okay, as you see. Okay, as such, all right, so here we go. It's a nice grip, okay, get a full 360, and that's my thumb, okay? Now, another technique that I see a lot of uh, young quarterbacks mess up on is that they want to keep the palm of their hand on the ball, so if I can get a good look here. I have no space. My finger cannot go through here. Okay. I should be able to put my finger through and be able to see air pockets through the ball. Okay. So most the quarterback coach taught me was a mantle, like a baseball mantle. Okay. Um, where, you know, you'll see probably in your parents' room. Um, I know for European guys, baseball is not important, but Say somebody hits a home run, they usually have a mantle there, and they just stick the ball there, okay? So we have five fingers, and we all call we call them five pressure points. So one, two, three, four, five are my pressure points, okay? So now, as I'm gripping this ball, okay, now you see – the pressure points, thumb. And when I lift it up, you should be able to see the air pocket. Now my finger can run through here, okay? See that air pocket there? Kind of get a little bit of 
um, but you guys can see, okay? I don't want to have the ball sitting on my hand because if it sits on my hand, it will not spiral. So this helps you guys with the spiral. Guys sometimes tend to throw the ball and they have no space in their hand and the ball comes out wobbly, okay? Um, and that's that's part of the reason why it may come out wobbly to you guys, all right? Now you, you put it on the mantle of your hand, okay? Just like this, like a trophy. And when I'm throwing the ball and I'm releasing the ball, now as I go, turn to the side, I want to release the ball off my last index finger, okay? Off of this one. This finger should be the last, uh, these two fingers should be the last two fingers that are touching the ball, okay? Um, but as it's going, you guys release, high release, and I want my the ball just to release, boom, okay? So when guys here don't have the mantle and they want to palm the ball, they, they tend to have a wobbly because now their hand is too much covering the ball and they're releasing from all four fingers, okay? Instead of this, this index finger, okay? Um, now I'm gonna show you the, um, the proper placement of the ball to, to, your, to a drop back, to a simple um, placement of the ball for, for a quarterback's comfortability, okay? We like to say chest to chest, okay? The breastplate, chest to chest, okay? We don't want it forward, and we want, don't want it too far back. We want it right here, nice over our hearts, okay? Left side of my heart since I'm right-handed. And elbow should be up slightly, and a nice, good, firm grip, okay? You do not want to palm the ball with your right hand, or with your throwing hand, I should say, so you would like to apply more pressure on, on my offhand. So my offhand is, is going to control the ball at all times, but at the same time, I'm always keeping my mantle on the ball because you don't want to hold the ball and just, ah, uh, you don't want to do that. You don't want to have a, 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 such a tight grip that you cannot release it quick enough, okay? So put most of your pressure and your, your control of the ball on your offhand, all right? Therefore, if a guy tries to come and swipe at the ball, you'll still have enough grip to where you won't fumble the ball, okay? So all I'm going to do is bring, my, bring the ball up to my chest, put it over my heart. If you're left-handed, switch it up, put it on the, the, the opposite side. All right, and this is going to be your ball placement from chest to chest, chest to chest, okay? Elbow slightly up, and as I release, I want to come over the top. The mantle of my hand is releasing, and I'm throwing off these two fingers, okay? So, guys, if I uh, open up to any questions, um, this is the, the hand, the ball placement, and the placement of the ball to your chest, okay? This is what, you know, they teach the pros, and, and most pro athletes um, do this and, and train with this um, from a long, uh, young age. Um, of course, guys have different techniques. Um, at, the end of the, at the end of it, you want to always be comfortable in what you do. You never want to, you know, sit there and be uncomfortable throwing the ball. And everything you need to do, you need to be comfortable, okay? So... Like I said, these are the basic techniques, but if something feels good for you and it works, I, I highly suggest that you keep it that way. You know, uh, I'm, a, I'm a coach that, you know, I believe in don't 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 fix what's not broken. OK, but a lot of guys that I've seen that I've trained so far usually mess up on these these couple of steps that I that I just showed you. So I want I want to kind of remind you, young quarterbacks and you, uh, the quarterbacks that's out there, that's that's kind of new to the game. And that may have some kind of um, problems with saying, hey, how do I get this ball to spin? How do I get it to spiral? Um, you know, fumble issues and whatnot, um, things like that. Um, so, yeah, I got a quick question. Um, okay, this is awesome, perfect for young athletes. Hey, thank you. Um, Stefan, uh, if I'm, I'm pronouncing it right, thank you very much. Um, I'm definitely 
available for more webinars or personal um, training. Um, so feel free to hit me up with any kind of questions. I'm gonna leave the room open for maybe three or four more minutes and uh, see if I get some more questions from you guys, okay? Thank you. Okay, I got a question. Coach Lewis, can you can you speak about the pushback of the ball prior to the release? Should players push back with their offhand or throwing hand? Okay, if I'm uh, not mistaken about the question. Um, the pushback is from here to here, if I'm not if I'm not mistaken. Um, and you don't want to you don't want to necessarily push it back. You don't want anything going negative. You want everything to go positively forward. Okay. So as I teach my my quarterbacks that I train, um, I always try to remind them is that you always want positive energy because negative energy is taken away from your velocity, negative energy is taken away from uh, your power on the ball and your accuracy. So um, it's not a, it's not a so much of a, of a pushback, but as I'm dropping back, for instance, um, see if I can get it in, okay? As I'm dropping back, I'm kind of chest to chest, chest to chest, okay? Now, as I take my hitch up, okay, I'm going to bring it forward, and at the same time, my, my ball should be here now. Okay, elbow should be slightly up, and I'm just going over the top, and I'm releasing. If I'm a little bit too tall, let me step back. Okay, let me step back, and I'm just I'm simply releasing over the top, not pushing back, and I'm releasing my my fingers, just like I said, and this is my last my, my last index fingers is the one touching the ball, so therefore I get that natural spin. OK, so a lot of uh, guys think that I have to come here and wind it up and come back with a long, big throw there. No, that's not the way. That's not a proper way, um, because most quarterbacks now and most court, co quarterback coaches and offensive coordinators are looking for those quick triggering the gunslingers. They don't want a guy that's going to have a, a long uh, release. In other words, okay, you want to keep everything tight. So if it is a pushback, you're not going to push back with your forearm. No, your front hand, I mean. You're just going to simply rise up, come over the top, rotate, and release the ball at a high point. And you're going to follow through with the last finger, and you're going to follow through to your throat, okay? So... You won't be pushing back off your offhand. You'll simply just be nice and tight. So here, okay, nice and tight. Ball should be comfortable. My shoulders are relaxed, okay, and I'm simply over the top with it. So there, everything is coming forward. Nothing is going backwards, okay, quarterbacks? So never, never, never push negative energy to where you're trying to go. Okay, we're going to keep everything positive. We're going to keep everything flowing forward. And we're gonna make a good tight spiral. Um, any more questions, guys? Thank you, actually. Um, you're up elite. <laughs> when young quarterbacks th throw the ball, is it usually goes too high? Um, oh, I got okay, Michi Eaton. Thank you, Michi. Um, when young quarterbacks throw the ball, it usually goes too high over the receiver head. What should he do to keep the ball within the receiver's reach? Oh, cool. And hey, that's a great question, Mitch. Um, I appreciate that question, honestly. So, with, you know, with accuracy um, and pinpoint accuracy and precision, um, you, you have to visualize. Um, a lot of people think that, um, you know, quarterbacks got to have a big arm. 
or have to be a big physical guy or, you know, I see a lot of quarterbacks just really try to use more of their arm strength than anything. You know, they just don't have any technique over here. Um, and, and even quarterbacks in the, in the younger youth era um, in America as well. Um, it, it's a very technical uh, position, the most technical position, I would say. So quarterbacking is 90% mental, 10% physical. You know, I'll say that again. Quarterbacking is 90% mental, 10% physical, okay? I'm not the biggest guy in the world. <laughs> and you heard my, a few of my accu accolades uh, that I just mentioned, All-American, high school, All-State. Um, you know, this goes on, you know, not to brag, but I wasn't always the biggest player, okay? I didn't always have the strongest arm. Um, but one, one thing that I have to say is when you want to have an accurate pass, I believe that you have to visualize your pass, okay? So when you see your target, see where you where you want to throw, okay? If, 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 if you want to throw the ball here, look there. If you want to throw the ball here, look there. If you want to throw the ball here, look there, okay? That's first thing first, okay? Secondly, all right, is the follow-through, okay? So what I mean by follow-through is we usually take, um, you know, we have cameras, we say, okay? One camera, two camera, three cameras, okay? And this is the follow-through that we always have to go through, the process, okay? So when the ball is going over uh, your receiver's head, usually nine times out of ten, the follow-through did not was not present, okay? So therefore, when I'm here and I'm coming over the top of the ball, okay, and I'm releasing the ball, so for instance, camera one, I have to point to my target. So if my target's here, it's going to be here. If my target's slightly here, it's going to be here, okay? So now I, pointed my, I point my shoulders to the target, camera one, take a picture, boom, and then I'm, and then I'm opening up, camera two to my target, okay? And then as I'm going over the top and I'm reaching up high and I'm coming down, I'm going to camera three, okay? Boom, all right? So one, two, three. Okay, and usually the follow through is the most important part. Okay, some guys, you know, they try to sidearm it and they come here with it. Okay, we want to go over the top with it. We want to get nice and nice and high release, and just want to just touch your touch your tar your target. All right, and then you want to follow through down. Okay, so visualize the target. Get your shoulders turned to the target. Camera one. Okay, step th step in your throw. Over the top, camera two, and you want to release a follow through, touch your touch your target, and camera three. Okay, so I would say that um, the follow through is the most important, high releases, um, and um, your release point. Okay, some guys sometimes they will come here and they say high release, and they say they think that I want the ball to be released at this point. No. High release is just getting the ball over the top, coming down, and you follow on through the ball to your target. Okay, so the ball will naturally go up, and then the, the nose should go straight to your to your target. Okay, so thank you, Michi, for your question. Um, I think that was an awesome question, and uh, you kind of uh, took my next seminar webinar, <laughs> but it's all good because uh, you know. I'll do another one of these uh, these webinars um, pretty often, and um, I'm pretty sure I can, it can be very helpful and informational to, to the young quarterbacks that's out here in Europe and uh, worldwide. So any more questions, feel free to ask. Um, you know, I'm here. Uh, I'm going to leave it open for a couple more minutes, like I said. We have some really, really great questions, and I do appreciate the feedback, guys. Thank you. So again, talk a little bit, you know, while I'm waiting on some questions. Um, simply ring finger, 
Okay, laces. Simply drop the ball here. I mean, drop the finger, next finger here, nice and comfortable. Third finger within the range of the tip to this top of the white line, okay? But nice and comfortable, drop that finger, okay? You have your three fingers there, okay? Pinky finger sometimes can contest the laces if you have big hands. If not, uh, usually um, you, you'll have to choke up on the ball, okay? What I mean by choking up on the ball is that sometimes with a smaller hand, it's kind of hard to get this index finger in there. So you can also put it right on top of it too and kind of get yourself a better grip for small handed people. Okay. Um, for me, that's really, really uncomfortable, <laughs> but um, you want to get a nice comfortable grip and be right, right there with it. Nice and comfortable. Okay. So I have my five pressure points. One, two, three, four, and five, okay? I have air pocket going through it. I'm kind of put my finger in there. Here it goes, okay? I'm still gripping the ball, and here it goes. Nice, nice, good mantle right there, okay? We don't, we do not want our quarterbacks to have the ball like this. No good, okay? You should be able to get your finger in there somewhere. Here I can't, okay? Here I can't, okay? You want a nice mantle, getting the ball here. Have my nice pressure points, five pressure points. And we have a finger going through. And we have a finger going through, okay? Feel free guys to ask any question. It's, it's okay. Um, there's no such thing as a dumb question, as my teacher used to always tell me. So <laughs> I'll try to ask, you know, a pretty fun question if I am better lack of words. <laughs> but um, yeah, any any more questions, um, any comments, uh, any feedback, um, any suggestions um, on videos, um, this will be continued to be live. I mean, not live, but this video will continue to be up and running. So if you see this and you happen to see it, and you have any suggestions or any questions, um, I will kind of come back and check this and um, see if I have any any guys that um, may have missed the live video. And I can actually answer your questions for you um, in a timely fashion uh, when I do see your question. So, um, yeah, if you have any questions or comments, please let me know. Okay, so looks like, um, you know, there should be no more questions. Um, so I want to thank everyone that has tuned in to this uh, webinar on hand placement on the ball and placement of the shelf. Okay, right over your breastplate, chest to chest, okay, elbow nice and high, relaxed, okay, shoulders nice and relaxed, okay, turn to the side. We don't want the guys to be here. Our two tents all tight. We want to be right, real nice and nice and relaxed. Okay, all right. We don't want the ball up to our mouth like we're trying to eat it. <laughs> we just want it here. Okay, it doesn't matter if it's here, here. Okay, we just want it nice and nice and uh, easy and controlled so we can get a nice, tight, nice tight release over the top of the ball. Okay, releasing the ball off the last index finger. Okay, so guys, thank you so much. This is Coach E. Lou, um, quarterback coach, offensive coordinator, head coach at Mink Zoo. And thank you for tuning in to this uh, to this webinar sponsored by Europe's Elite. Um, I do and I will love to ask, answer any questions that you have and um, tune in next time. And thank you for your, for your thank you for your time. Salute. We out.